The flight from Reykjavik is less than half an hour down the southwest coast, but it takes you to a place that teaches you a lesson, not just in how Iceland was formed, but how the entire world was created. The island town of Heimae is normally very quiet, known mostly for fishing and tourism, but it's also famous for surviving a sudden and surprisingly large volcanic eruption 34 years ago. 400 homes were buried by ash and lava, and the island grew by nearly a third. Miraculously, no people were killed, and most returned to Heimae several months later. This is the crater left by the new volcano named Eldfell, Icelandic for Fire Mountain. It spewed more than 200 million tons of lava and rock, but has been silent ever since. But standing here shooting, I could feel the heat from the simmering earth beneath me. But geological violence is nothing new here. Eruptions and earthquakes are just a couple of the natural phenomena that remind the people of Iceland who's really in charge here. In sailing around the Westman Islands, you see relatively recent remnants of the nearly continuous seismic activity. Some of these spectacular cliffs, now home to thousands of seabirds, have been here for thousands of years. Some are new neighbors, like the island of Surtse, which was born a mere 40 years ago. By walking and sailing around the Westmans, I felt this strange and humbling sense of reassurance that nature is still the boss. I realized that many things that are totally natural, eruptions, earthquakes, and storms, for example, are now considered terrible in human terms. The people of Hemae know they could lose everything, including their lives, at any time at the hands of nature. It's still their choice to live here. Their motivations may vary, but their understanding and respect of nature, throwbacks to more primitive times, are essential to a new global reawakening. The human race will not survive by controlling or destroying nature, but by living in harmony and cooperation with it, starting with repairing the damage we've done and realizing that everything nature does is miraculous and beautiful. It's we humans whose folly make it ugly and dangerous. I'm Ken Schreiner in Hemae, Iceland. Check back soon for another post from one of the world's most mysterious, volatile, and fascinating parts of the planet. And I hope to see you next time on The Landscape.